Alright, so what have I got equipped? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all appropriate ages. It's been a while, and considering I've been playing games that I've neglected for a while, we are back with an episode of Farpoint Friday. But, just to get back into the swing of things. Right, did that. It's got no magazine. Uh, what level did we get up to? Magazine 5, reduce damage and range. Oh yeah, this is the laser beam one. You, I haven't even dared to touch yet. And it's my least favourite weapon of the group, so we'll... Uh, what do you go with? You know what? There we go. So, select level. You know what? Just because we haven't played in a while, and because I want to talk about a few things. It feels nice to be back in this, I've got to be honest. I wish I didn't have to work for a living. Just spend all day catching up on games I haven't played. While the while the other half still works. You know, fuck that. Well maybe neither of us could work and she could learn to play VR herself because she doesn't she isn't really fond of VR. Then again, she's only really fond of Call of Duty zombies and Minecraft, so that says a lot. Yeah, so we're going to talk about a few things. Now we're here. While I warm up. Well, we're going to try, but me walk, talking and playing never usually works out. Because I work night shifts, as I've mentioned in the past. And uh, I woke up last night. And the, the majority of what I see is people fucking uh, in the most surreal fucking argument on the planet. And I don't know much about it, so someone help me out in the comments if you watch this. People arguing about Battlefield having a fucking woman on the front cover. Is that a legit argument that people are having? They're arguing that there's either female soldiers or there's or it's just a female on the front cover. I legitimately am confused. Because it boggles my mind what people will argue about these days. Yes, women served in World War II. Yes, there were soldiers that had prosthetics during the war, during time of combat, that wanted to serve their country. So. Why are people bummed out by this? I have no genuine clue. If they're bummed out by a woman being... Hey, come back here, son. There we go. If they're bummed out by a woman being on the front cover, why the fuck are they bummed out about that as well?
Are they just pissed off for no reason? Are they looking to have something to be pissed off about? Yeah, my accuracy is a bit off at the moment. We'll get there. See? Yeah, but going back to... Do they have a right to be pissed off? No, I don't think anyone has a right to be pissed off about that. You go make a fucking game. Because at the end of the day... It's not like... Let's see if it, Oh, she's on the front cover. I don't get it. Yeah, because they never put a male character on the front cover of any Battlefield game, have they? Wait a minute. Battlefield 3, 4, Hardline, Battlefield 1. I just don't get the argument. I really don't. And I want someone to just kind of explain it to me in case I'm missing the point. Because it just seems like a very stupid fucking thing to argue about. And it's not what I want to fucking wake up to half the time. I don't want to wake up to pointless fucking arguments. Still getting the hang of this a little. God, I love this Dragon's Breath shotgun. <laughs> I assume by now, since I've been away for a while, this is. Everyone's got this. Everyone's unlocked this. Ow! I can't believe it. I fucking. Up. But yeah, someone just please cue me it, clue me in as to what the fuck they're legitimately arguing about. Where the fuck did he run off to? There you are. Got ya. Because if we're just going to argue about petty shit like that for no reason then does the human race even deserve to exist do we really want to take this kind of bullshit to Mars or to any other planets in the future all you're going to do is piss off feminists social justice warriors and you're just going to have a bunch of them Targeting gamers, making fucking pointless, unneeded apologies, and trying to act like white white knights in shining armor. Less of that shit going around. For playing and talking, I'm actually doing better than normal. I'm surprised at myself. Oh, hello! Ah, oh, you cheeky bastard. Come here. There we go. Oh, and for all of you that were getting pissed off, fear not, because I checked the store this morning. Um. Battlefield 5 is available to pre-order, but guess what? Because of you sensitive bitches out there on the planet, god damn I suck, they have a... you got the standard edition which has... god damn it.
shoot the fucking thing. Thank you. Come on, charge me, bitch. Yeah, so the standard edition still has the woman on the front cover alone. But guess what? The deluxe edition is a bloke. Rejoice, bitches. Stop arguing. They heard your petty little fucking squabble. And they decided, ah, we could do with less of that. They caved into your bitchiness. Oh, I always know there's one around there somewhere, but I can never usually see it. It gets it's too dark there. And now there's a debate on what people are going to buy instead. Are they going to buy Black Ops 4 or Battlefield? Well, in all fairness, who cares? You're all probably going to buy both. Why? Because... Everyone fucking buys Black Ops. Even though it's not going to have a story mode. And to be honest, I wouldn't... I'm probably not going to buy Black Ops. I'm not... I'm someone that doesn't really care for Fortnite. I mean, I understand it's a great game, but... I don't really see the fascination with Battle Royale mode. Because... And that's what Black Ops is sacrificing. It's sacrificing campaign for a Battle Royale style mode called Blackout. And I saw the reveal trailer. Not much of a reveal. It didn't really show much gameplay, if any. So, why do I give a shit? And I'm still not entirely up to date with Blackout. Because one of the last reports I heard of it, it's not going to probably have the full 100 player game mode on release. From when they last tested it. So is that something that is still going to be an issue? Because if it is, that's fucking hilarious. One of your key selling points, and it's not even going to be completed. Well, excuse me. Whoa! Cheeky bastard. But I'll probably... I need to finish off Battlefield 1, to be honest. I may buy Battlefield 5, but I won't be buying Black Ops 4. I always, with every Call of Duty game that's ever been released, I always play the campaign through to completion, and then I play multiplayer. That is the way things... That is how I play things. That is... I. How I enjoy to play the game. Would I buy Modern Warfare 2 though? Where it's like a multiplayer? Probably, yeah, I probably wouldn't buy that either. Why? Because that was probably one of the most fun multiplayer experiences there was. You know, you can't remaster something or bring something out that is popular on both single and multiplayer and decide you're going to take out one or the other. That's just stupid. Alright, that was my previous best. 112,000. Damn, I don't even think I came close, did I? Nope, not even close. Jesus Christ. And you do level up a bit, so, huh. 
If you're not a fan of multiplayer and you just want to keep doing the challenges over and over again, but you still want to get the trophies for unlocking all the different uh, weapon classes, there you go. Just keep doing that. Alright, let's return to lobby. But yeah, that's one thing I really just wanted to talk about, like the battlefield issue, the Call of Duty issue, and to be honest, I couldn't really care for anyone's stupid fucking opinion about how that... The battlefield controversy isn't even controversy, let's just get out of the fucking way. It's fucking pointless squabbling and complaining over nothing. Oh, they put a woman on it. So what? Who gives a fuck? Women actively serve in the forces. Be thankful. You cunts. <laughs> Alright. Actually, uh... Let's see... I'm gonna end the video here. And if I find a co-op, if I find a versus match, I'll put that in as well. If I don't, well, then uh, it's been fun getting back into the game. I will be playing more of it in the future. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Now, let's see if I can find someone to uh, kick my ass. Ah. <sighs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, I thought I'd add this little clip in because I have tried, and I have tried to get a versus match. And I'm not sure if it's just my PlayStation being a piece of shit or whatever the hell, but... Uh, I've had, what, two PvP matches or attempts and I didn't get any XP for either of the fuckers. But I was like doing well. I was currently in the lead. I was five points ahead on the first match and on the second match I was four four to one. So four points to one. So I was doing okay for my return to the game. But uh it kept crashing. It kept fucking crashing on me. And... It then comes up with error occurred, report problem, so... I've just been having trouble trying to get a multiplayer match now. That sucks. Uh, but either way... Once again, if I do get a match, I will put that in this video as well. But I also wanted to take time out of set and say properly why I don't really care for like Fortnite Battle Royale. I don't hate it, it's a good game. I played I played Fortnite before it was Battle Royale. Mode was attached to it. I've played Battle Royale a couple of times, but nothing I really find addictive to it. And I know it's like copying another game that copied another game and so on and so forth I don't care about that controversy either I don't give a shit my main issue with Fortnite Battle Royale is it killed Paragon they Epic Games was taking developers from Paragon to work on Fortnite and instead of going uh, getting keeping the developers there and being like yeah we'll just have we'll just get some new developers in no they took all the developers from Paragon put them to work on Battle Royale so they decided to kill off Paragon which was a free to play MOBA which I enjoyed thoroughly <coughs> and uh yeah that is my main problem Paragon. No, not Paragon. Battle Royale. That they didn't bother to give it to another company to keep it up and running for all of us to enjoy. No. They just killed it. 
So that's my main issue with why I don't care for Battle Royale at all. I really don't. I wasn't. I couldn't remember. I explained my reason properly in the previous clip, but I thought I'd best double down on why I don't care for Battle Royale. Anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna go try and find a match, and maybe it'll crash again. Who knows? Anyway, I'll catch you all later once again.